All right, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. What we have for you today is an Amazon exclusive. Now, this is a 110 scale uh, two wheel drive uh, Truggy by Red Cat Racing. Uh, this is pretty much new to the market, guys. I think this has been out maybe about six months, maybe a little less than that. Uh, this is the Piranha TR10, uh, really nicely made vehicle. This is a hobby grade vehicle, ready for upgrades. It's coming with a brushed motor on this one, uh, two wheel drive, which means rear wheel drive only adjustable shocks and adjustable steering toe in um, really cool uh, uh, looking vehicle uh, and kind of fast as well uh, this is going to come with a 2000 milliamp per hour nickel metal hydride battery along with the charger um, and some other and some other accessories so let's go ahead and get the car put off to the side just for the time being and i'll show you guys uh, what came in the package now i didn't do an unboxing on this on camera because the box is pretty much plain jane you have a brown color cardboard box with the Red Cat logo along with the Piranha font on it, that type of thing, the model number, nothing really too cool to show there. Uh, so what we have uh, inside the box, first, first thing was uh, the manual. Now this is the manual for the Piranha itself. Uh, there are two manuals that are supposed to come with this. I don't know where the other one is. I didn't, didn't show up in the box, uh, but there's another model for, um, I believe it's for the electric car, electric manual, electric vehicles manual. I didn't see that one. Uh, but anyway, uh, the main manual is this one here. Uh, you're seeing the Piranha vehicle shown on the front here and the Piranha logo along with the Red Cat logo below and their trademark, which is fast, affordable, and fun. Um, I'm pretty much all about that, guys. I'm up, I, I, if you know anything about my channel, if any of you out there are subscribers, uh, you know I'm all about being frugal. I'm all about getting the best bang for the buck. Um, if this car turns out the way I think it's going to, it's going to be a very, very nice uh, fit for me and for a lot of you out there that have that same kind of mindset. Uh, nice thing about this manual, guys, is it's full size. Uh, we also have um, the English uh, translation on here is uh, spot on. Now I'm I'm adjusting this camera here a little bit as we go. Uh, there we can maybe see a little bit better now. Uh, but this um, company, Red Cat, I believe is an American-based company, uh, and they just have their stuff built um, overseas. Uh, but we can see here that all of the uh, all of the translation in here um, is straight English. There is no uh, Chinglish or Chinese English to try to decipher. Um, I don't see a whole lot of, um, if any at all, uh, misprints or misspellings or uh, just bad grammar at all. Um, this is a very nicely done um, manual here. You have a guide for your radio, a guide, some features and specs, that type of thing. Now this is coming with a um, 2000 milliamp per hour 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery and i'll show you that battery in just a second but this one is also going to be switchable to use a lipo battery and that kind of goes through how to switch your uh, esc over to accept the lipo how to ch how to charge the battery it has an exploded view of all the parts um, and a kind of an assembly drawing i guess you could say i kind of equate this with a 3d a 3d blueprint really if you think about it that's kind of what it is uh, so the exploded view here with all the corresponding part numbers uh, then you have a parts list here uh, parts grid I should say uh, with all the uh, available parts and their parts numbers included on here uh, warranty information on the back here and this page here is just basically saying stop don't take the car back to the store uh, go ahead and give redcatracing.com an email or a phone call and they should be able to help you with anything that you have trouble with and the back is just blank red cat in the back here so that's kind of nice good one to hang on to uh if the, for nothing else but maybe a parts list and an exploded view uh this is another little uh, sheet that came with the uh user manual this is basically just going through the different size batteries different style batteries chargers that type of stuff here uh, it's kind of an advertisement i'm guessing here um for uh the red cat branded um hex fly um, X fly batteries. So that kind of came with it. And take a look at that if you guys want to. Um, if you should get this car. This is going to come with a battery charger as well, guys. Now, this is a 12 volt charger. Uh, this looks like um, the output on here is 12 volts at one amp maximum. So, you're looking at about a three hours to charge the battery, uh, the nickel metal hydride that it comes with. Now, this is using a banana style plug, a four millimeter banana style plug on here. You're not going to be able to use your SEMA X8 
batteries with this because this is a different size. Uh, this barrel is different size. So we're looking at four millimeters on this one. I'm pretty sure the SEMAs are either three and a half or maybe even three millimeter. They are smaller. Um, so that could necessitate for me anyway um, a battery connector swap inside the car. I may be doing a modification on that. And if I do, I'll make sure I put a video up for that as well. But that does come with it as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, you're getting the battery which is inside the car and I'll show you that in just a second uh, But the transmitter comes with is the XR 2.4. This is a 2.4 uh, gigahertz signal transmitter um, Very nicely made guys. Um, it is uh, sturdy plastic uh, Nothing feeling uh, cheap or toyish about this at all. Um, it has a textured finish on the uh, pistol grip here um, You have your throttle uh, uh, forward and reverse and brake um, you have uh, it shows you how to power on the vehicle uh, with this particular one you turn on the transmitter first leave it on for about three seconds and then go ahead and turn your car on it'll pair up uh, you want to make sure that's the way you start this one uh, on the top here not a whole lot of adjustments really pretty much pretty much plain Jane uh, you do have a steering trim adjustment and then a reverse uh, steering uh, switch here that you can toggle for uh, reversing the steering your power button is going to be on the front here and your steering wheel obviously right here with a little bit of a full uh, kind of uh, covering on there feels pretty good. Uh, the one thing I don't uh, w that is lacking on this that I think um uh, all manufacturers should be doing, especially manufacturers that are creating um, higher quality hobby grade uh, goods as this, uh, should be putting a option for left hand steer on here, which there is none on this transmitter. Uh, batteries are going to come with this guy, so everything is uh, completely ready to go. You just charge up your car battery, battery for the car, and then these are included in the package, so you're getting the four AA batteries included with that, which I think is outstanding. Uh, more companies should be doing that. Your basic warnings on the bottom, your basic warnings on the top to turn on the radio, that type of thing. And then just a tag on here, turning on the radio first kind of thing, letting you know. Uh, so we can go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to do a power up on this uh, in the next video. I'm not going to power the car up right now. I'm in the process of charging uh, one of the batteries, but I do have one out uh, here um, that I can show you. Uh, that I had, I had two batteries, uh, two red cap batteries. This is basically the one that came with the car, and I'll show you that. Uh, the body is held on by these cotter pins here, guys. You can see, uh, pretty much standard for this type of car. Uh, so you have the dowels that fit through the holes in the body canopy, and then these pins just fit through. Uh, these are heavy, heavier duty pins that I'm used to seeing on a lot of the cars that I own. Um, this is the first red cap vehicle that I have purchased, um, and it's looking to be prominent. It's looking pretty promising so far. Uh, the body is made of a Lexan material, uh, like most um, most vehicles. Uh, most uh, RC vehicles are made of the same material. Uh, this seems to be a little bit sturdier than the ones that I'm used to dealing with. Uh, nice cobalt blue color on this one, guys. All these decals with the stripes. You have the Red Cat uh, printed on the front here. You have the, obviously the fake headlights, uh, the two piranha stickers up right above where the uh, fog lights would be on this if this were real. Uh, you have uh, the piranha logo on the side here. Um, and looks kind of like a... Well, basically this is a truggy, so you're kind of seeing that whole that whole look right there. Uh, but nicely done. Uh, feels like a, a good quality piece uh, of uh, plastic here. So we'll go ahead and set that aside for the time being, and we'll take a look at the car itself. Now, as mentioned before, this is a two-wheel drive vehicle. Um, everything is going to have ball bearings. So there's ball bearings throughout the whole build of the vehicle. Uh, the wheel bearings are all uh, roller ball bearings. Um, we have... Um, Nice nylon. I guess this could be a nylon or a fiber type plastic, but very resilient, very bendy. Uh, so I think that's going to imp uh, take impacts uh, pretty good without too much worry of it actually uh, breaking or snapping on us. Uh, the shocks are going to be adjustable. You can see on these shocks right here, guys, that there is a knurled uh, adjuster on here to, to set the preload either uh, uh, 
stiffer or looser depending which way you're turning that. These are oil filled as well. Um, I'm probably going to mess with oil um, a little bit uh, later on once I learn a little bit more about this car, but I may miss, mess around with oil viscosities to see if I can't maybe tune this a little bit better. But you can see by pressing, I'll press the suspension down, that um, it does definitely rebound slowly or more slowly. And I have to make some adjustments on here, obviously. This, these wheels are kind of wonky looking. Uh, but you can see on here too, uh, these um, uh, steering is actually, the toe end is actually adjustable on here. Uh, you have this little connector uh, in the center here, and it looks like it has a little hex on there. So you can spin this in or out depending on which way you want it to move this wheel um, in or out uh, to straighten it out. So nicely made as far as the suspension goes. Uh, this is a two-in-one um, ESC receiver on the back here. Uh, you have a shroud covering the whole uh, shoot and match right there. There are two cap, uh, cap hex screws that uh, hold this cover down. You have an on and off switch right here as well. Um, the, uh, there is a little shunt or a little plug on here that you would move from one side or the other if you were going from the uh, nickel metal hydride which is included to a lipo chemistry battery. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you read up on that and that's, uh, that's outlined in the manual for you guys. Uh, so make sure you're reading that manual. It's a good one to take a look at. Uh, the steering servo is going to be up in the front here. This is fully proportional steering. Uh, this also a three three uh, wire servo uh, so that's kind of cool that they have a three wire servo out of the box right away uh, uh, you have a uh, servo saver up in front here as well um, everything on here is uh, overbuilt which I like um, it's heavy duty the car has some weight to it even without the battery in it not totally heavy but it does have some weight to it and that equates to me to being a quality built product uh, the bat the motor in the back right here is going to be a 540 size motor uh, and it's mounted uh, on the back of the vehicle here with the drive uh, transmission right here and then the drive shaft running or there's no drive shaft in here uh, this is only two wheel drive so everything's going to happen right back here uh, but there is a shroud over the motor and there is a uh, warning on here that caution motor does get hot so you want to make sure that you're not grabbing it by the motor if you're picking this thing up after riding it after driving it for a while uh, but you can see all the all the uh, um, uh, this looks like it might be yep that is metal so we do have we definitely have uh, metal drive shafts here metal dog bones so that's kind of cool to see that as well uh, but you can see again the suspension on here um, it is damped nicely um, the front I'm gonna have to work on I'm gonna have to do some maintenance on this obviously get it oiled up that type of thing but everything on here is um, built nicely guys I'm pretty impressed so far with the build quality um, let's go ahead and take a look at this battery the battery is going to be held in by another one of these body pins you just would pull that out of the way there and um, there's a little clip and this slides underneath and there's a little uh, hole in the back here that that would kind of notch into and you can see that this is nicely uh, very heavy duty it's a uh, um, heavy gauge plastic um, which is nice uh, the battery again that it's going to come with is going to be a nickel metal hydride chemistry this is a 7.2 volt uh, an IMH 2000 milliamp per hour battery um, so it's going to have probably about a 10 or 10 to 15 minute drive time I haven't tested that yet what I do plan on doing guys is testing both testing two types of batteries with this now how I'm going to go about doing that I may end up having to either fat either make or purchase an adapter to adapt from this down to a Dean's plug so I could use uh, so I can use a uh, Dean's uh, battery uh, lipo on here the Dean's lipo battery most of my lipo batteries uh, for quadcopters and cars uh, of this size are going to be Dean's connectors so I probably will have to make some sort of a modification and again I'll put a video up for that if and when I do uh, but I want to test the uh, both batteries to see uh, what the difference is as far as punch as far as performance and as far as battery drive time so how long is this battery gonna last as opposed uh, to a lipo cell battery uh, but yeah, that comes with it uh, about three hours to charge this puppy and we'll go ahead and set that aside for now um the tires on here are going to be uh, glued on to the rims which i kind of like out of the box um these are not um 
nothing on the outside here is, is functioning so basically these are just going to be uh, glued on uh, we have hex screws on the inside here little caps uh, nylon washer type nylon internal washer screws uh, nuts to hold those on these are going to be your standard 12 millimeter hex and I know you probably can't see that so you're going to be able to change out tires should you need to or want to change out rims I may try some different rims and tires on this at some point and it's kind of nice to know that uh, that's just a standard 12 uh, millimeter hex uh, for these wheels. These are foam filled as well guys so that's kind of nice as well. Uh, these feel like really good tires. Uh, they feel like they're going to hook up really well in a multitude of different uh, surfaces, different terrains. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video guys. Um, I'm not going to power it up today. Um, I'm going to do that in a separate video uh, for the drive uh, and review and we'll do that separately but for now we'll go ahead and uh, kind of close this one up and if you guys like the video um, give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel out a lot um, I appreciate all my new subscribers as well guys so anybody that's subscribed to my channel I really appreciate you guys you guys are helping me out a lot um, and I thank you for that um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already guys we'll see you all in the next one and God bless the Republic